Wear the gown. Brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. 645 right now in our gown talks have one goal in mind. That is to raise your health care IQ. Today we jump in feet first. We have to. The topic is bunions. Here's Craig O'Neill. One year ago, Rita Dobson had bunions and she made a mistake. We, we waited, we tried to see if I could just tolerate it. It, it. That wasn't working. So she got an appointment at this place to see this man, Dr. Nabo Patel. So a bunion deformity is malalignment of the great toe joint. Just like a car with problems when wheels don't align, the big toe out of whack can produce the big bump and then pain and consequences. When you start having pain, you'll start limping more, you'll start not wanting to be as active as you should be. Rita was not about to do surgery. She'd heard horror stories. Fortunately, there is now a new simpler procedure. It's called the ProStep uh, Minimally Invasive bun uh, Surgery Procedure. Simple and not as scary. Incision is probably about the size of a pencil eraser. Rita was reassured. I felt very confident that he was going to take care of me. Six weeks ago, she had it done, and? Six weeks and I'm back in a regular shoe. Uh, X-rays look like it's been healing from day one till now for within six weeks. Good thing Rita acted when she did to get rid of the pain. Also, if she would have waited, the bunion could have got worse to where even hammer toe deformities could have formed more, causing more surgery for other toes as well. Dr. Patel is also all about inserts, padding, orthotics, whatever it takes with bunions. Just take action. Tell them, Rita. You can't do anything without your feet. About a quarter of all Americans, uh, adult Americans, I should say, 18 to 65, get bunions. And when you're older than 65, it jumps to almost a third of Americans. It's a big toe problem, pretty widespread in more ways than one.